Hey everybody, welcome back to another game I'm testing out, try and see if I like it. This is Neverwinter from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I learned about this from, um, I was doing a bunch of research, uh, some guy, I'll have to get back to you with his, with his name, he does, he does a YouTube channel on all kinds of RPGs, and he, uh, it's something, it's something peon, because it, it's something like, it's just all I remember. But, uh, he has like a, a ridiculous amount of subscribers and stuff, but it never popped up on my list until I actually looked for him, or I looked for particular games. Um, this is one of the games he uh, was looking at, and I thought it was reasonable. So we're going to check it out. Um, apparently there are um, play to, pay to play uh, walls and or pay to win walls and stuff, but you know, I don't think we're gonna find too many good games that ain't like that. Uh, so, right now, we have the option of a lot of classes. So, um, I almost always pick like Wood Elf or uh, something along the lines of somebody that's like, you know, sneaky and assassin y or, or super archer. So, I think we're gonna pick something. I think I'm gonna go like outside of my my comfort zone, like hardcore on this game. Um, I'm thinking like something I've never been before, or something like I don't know. Hu humans definitely out. Half work is is an option. Um, I never played any Dungeons and Dragon games. I mean, I played games that are RNG based, and I've watched other people play uh, Dungeons and Dragon like games. So, uh, like real life, like rolling the dice and sitting around the table pretending like you're a wizard kind of stuff. But um, I don't really, I never really partook. Uh, I can't say that I wasn't really kind of into it, but eh, not enough for, not not like they were, let's put it that way. So, anyways, um, so I'm thinking maybe a sun elf because that's something that's that I've never even heard of. Um, dwarfs are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Halfling would probably be half human, half dwarf, and then half human, half elf. I don't know what a typhling is. Kind of demonic. Kind of has the same kind of vibe as the, the sun elf dude, except demonic. I don't know what a drow is. Dark fire ability scores trance. Uh, that looks like a whole lot of reading I don't want to do. Um, so I keep saying, man, okay, it's gonna we're cool. Got this. We can we can. Hit. I'm bringing you guys along with the arduous task of me picking my character because you know if I have to sit through this torture, so do you guys. <laughs> well, if you watch. So, um, I'm thinking we're gonna go... A lot of good ability score. Uh, Infernal Wrath. So this guy looks like something a lot of people would pick. Inner Calm. Your inner peace and serenity allows you to focus more clearly on tasks at hand. Your action points gain is 2% higher than that of other races. Uh, increased intelligence, dexterity, and charisma. Uh, let's see about... Uh, dexterity, charisma, wisdom. This also looks like somebody, something somebody would, a lot of people would pick if they're trying to go off the... Like, they're trying to go off the main classes. I kind of feel like that be, this would be something else a lot of people would pick. But I'm really kind of against the Sun Elf. Like, he's a little too Justin Bieber for me. You know? So, I'm thinking, uh, we're gonna do... We'll try, we'll try the Drow. Uh, I'm gonna stick with being a dude. Because, you know, I've only done the whole female thing for one game. And it's not really my, not really my forte. So, Rogue is usually what I'd go for, so let's go for something completely different. Uh, Ranger would be another one I'd go for. Fighter sounds way too... way too cliche. 
Paladin would be interesting. Uh, and I always usually avoid wizards. I always avoid magic. But I think with this dude, I think we should do Warlock. I think that would be like the most fitting. But at the same time, Rogue would be kind of cool too. Uh, okay, we're not doing... We're not doing Rogue, because that's something I would definitely pick if I was going normal. Cleric would be cool, but I just feel like a healer would be somebody that would want to have friends, and I don't have any. So, uh, I think it's going to be between Wizard and Warlock, and I think Warlock would be the thing that people would pick mostly. Like, these two would be, like, the ones that they would choose for this guy. So, let's go, let's go outside of my comfort zone and go Wizard. Oh, it changes his clothes? What does he look like if he's a warlock? Oh, that's kind of sick. How am I gonna... How can I say no to that? Um... What about Paladin? Okay, we're gonna choose Paladin. That's outside of my comfort zone. And he looks a lot cooler than, than the wizard. So, let's, let's do it. Um, as a Paladin, Charisma and Wisdom are useful of the limits. Racial ability bonus is charisma and wisdom is what I want. So do I want dexterity and charisma or dexterity and wisdom? Charisma would be something that would be more for like buying and selling, I would think, right? Measures of force of personality, persuasive, and yeah, leadership. So seeing that I have no friends and have no interest in being king, uh, let's go for dexterity and wisdom, which would probably give me a boost in mana. Uh, measures, common sense, perception, self-discipline, and empathy. Well, that's not exactly what I thought it was going to do, but hey, that works. Hand-eye coordination, agility, reflexes, and balance. Uh, yeah, because I could care less about the crew. But then again, that could help with buying and selling, too. Oh, well, outside of my comfort zone. Oh, it's already chose. Alright, dexterity and wisdom it is. Next. Now we get the really cool part of making this guy look... Sick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, great. Um, no, I guess we'll just click them all. Is there a way to like? There we go. That's a little better. That looks way too not cool. Uh, trying to trying to make them look something like what I think I look like. I don't have a lot of options for... That's not too bad. Hairstyle-wise. Um, my hair is... Not as luxurious as it used to be. Not entirely sure why. Uh, maybe I didn't eat enough vegetables or something. But, you know. It is what it is. One more thing I can't change. But I think this guy's the winner. It has that... Has that serious, intelligent look, but yet compassionate. Super Saiyan-y. So, I can customize? So these, oh, these are the presets. Oh yeah, we're gonna get in this. We're getting in this hardcore. So, um... So there's a couple options. I could probably tell just by looking at them. I probably don't have to click on them all. Uh... Where are the contenders? That looks reasonable, but it looks a little old. That looks reasonable as well. Oh, so this is the young dudes. Okay. Okay, so yeah, there we go. So, this guy's probably out. He, I don't know, he kind of has that... kind of has that hair lip, like, I'm gonna eat your soul kind of look. That doesn't really suit me too much. That's plausible. He looks a little too serious. Like, I have I have a serious look most of the time because I don't do emotions anymore. So, I have a serious look on my face most of the time, but maybe probably not quite that serious. And... Yeah, he's a, he's, he's a little too long-faced. So I'm thinking we got, uh, five or three. There was three the way too serious one. 
Okay, two or five. Uh, two, five. I think we're gonna go with two. Uh, color. I can change my color. Oh, I can be various. I can be 50 shades of gray. Oh, baby. Uh, never watched the movie or read, or read the book, but I, I've heard it. I heard it's pretty, uh, Actually, I, I don't really acknowledge it at all, so it's whatever. Uh, I don't really have my skin color here. I think we can... I don't want to go too dark. <laughs> like, like, I mean, like... Like, I'm, I'm barely light-complected. That's probably as about as close as it's gonna get. Um, eye or hair. Hopefully, it's got something a little bit more, a little bit more me. Um, so, under normal circumstances, this is probably about where I'm at. Right now, I'm a little bit more actually. No, definitely not. Look more like a bird than a human being. Um, yeah, I think... For, like, real life, I got kind of short hair now. But, like, you know, two years ago, I was rocking the... I was rocking something like this. Except no bangs. I don't do that stuff. It was, it was well kept. But wild. If that makes sense. And uh, we were a little bit on the darker side here, I think it right about here. And now eyeballs. Um Okay, so this is this is all pupils. Um do giant pupils. Oh uh, the acid trip. <laughs> uh let's do uh, uh I think we're gonna That looks reasonable. And I got relatively hazel color at, colored eyes. I don't I don't really remember the last time I actually looked at my own eyeballs, so like in, in detail. So we're just gonna go with that color looks good. Eyebrows. Uh, bushy brow, thick, fine, natural two. Natural one. I guess it doesn't really matter, you can't really see them. That's a little better. Okay, I can deal with that. Uh, facial. You cannot customize the facial hair of male members of the... What? Fine. You know what? I didn't start doing the whole beard thing recently anyway. Uh, face tattoos. Yeah, that'd be interesting. That's... I mean, you, I should get face tattoos because I don't fit in with normal society anymore. So, it really wouldn't matter. <laughs> But you know, I have some I have some hope that maybe someday that maybe someday I'll be accepted as a person again. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh So this this kind of stuff borderlines on makeup. And I'm pretty opposed to to man makeup. My I'm opposed to women makeup too, for the most part. But, like, you know, like, why spend all that money and time trying to be something you're not? You're either pretty or you ain't pretty. You know? And I mean, spending all that time and money is just superficial. Well, that was kind of cool. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna skip the face tattoo. Like, I don't have one, and I'm not gonna get one. So, I think... 
And you know what? It's a game, right? Plus, if I ever get to, to leave the country and start my own tribe, space tattoos will be mandatory. <laughs> That's... Okay, I want this one, but I want it on this eye. And it's gotta be... It's gotta be, like, stupid bright green. Like... Ah, uh, that doesn't really fit. What about, like... What about, like... Nah, it's gotta be stupid bright green. Like, stupid, stupid bright green. Uh, scars... I don't have any scars on my face. Not really. I mean, nothing notable. Uh, face scaling. Yeah, I'm not doing this. That's that's too much, even for me. Body shape. Elven toe by default. Like, how am I supposed to actually see this? Elven slim. I think we should probably... Like, I'm... I might be a little bit on the slim side, but I don't think I'm that slim. And I'm not really this jacked either. So if there had a, like something in between that isn't like, you know, Incredible Hulk, then it'd probably probably be a little more suiting of my actual body type. And yeah, we're not doing this either. That's not gonna happen. Too many sliders. That looks pretty good. I mean, as far as being a mythical a mythical race of human being uh, with a face tattoo, that's kind of close to what I look like. So let's uh, continue on to the next one. Deity affiliation. Okay, so this is gonna get confusing. Um, uh, is the God of the Sun, the Time, the Church, yada yada yada? What does it actually do for me? Like, what is the? Do I know any of these gods? Is the next question. I would say no. I would say these are all made up. Which, well, no comment. Uh, celestial clock as well as paladins who battle on dead. It's God of the Sun. His crunch teaches that he has died and been reborn time and again. Like this turning of the great clock, he is revered by farmers, merchants, and nomads of the following seasons of turning of the celestial clock. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really tell me much. So I guess we could pick the one that it was chosen. We could pick this little cutie over here with red hair. Okay, I don't really know what these do for me, and they don't really give me a lot of information. So... Uh, going by the pictures, I could kind of get an idea, um, but not really. So I think we're just gonna kind of keep with the Tempest one. Uh, Tempest is the God of Battle. Yeah, that, that sounds good. God of Battle sounds great. And each selection is for flavor and has no effect on me. Oh, there we go. Um, does that include where I choose to click over here? Baldur's Gate. That sounds familiar. That has been in games before. Uh, Aztec Fighter or Plucky? I don't know what any of this means. Uh, sure. If it doesn't really matter, then let's do it. Uh, character name. Uh, prison from the bowels, bowels, is that, how do you spell bowels, guys? I think that's right. Prison from the depths of the underworld. To avenge his beloved pygmy albino 
bunny rabbit. All can stand in his way will fall victim to I was gonna I was gonna do like I was gonna say like the current death virus but uh, it, I might be like unfavored on YouTube for that so let's do uh fall victim to death by cotton candy and his name will be another block actually can I now nah, I better do that this is my YouTube this is not past me this is new me so we're gonna do another block I have a name I use for most RPGs from past me but past me is no, no longer exists, unfortunately. He was the cool me. Now I'm just some loser. But I am a lo I'm a level one loser, and I will avenge my bunny rabbit. I actually had a rabbit once. I actually, I, I guess not really. I guess it was more of my father's. But I was too young to actually have a pet. I, I don't even remember. It was like named it like Humper or Thumper or something, because it rhymed with it rhymed with the girl he was trying to hook up with, Bunny Rabbit. Um, so I know nothing about this game other than a quick couple little videos I've watched, maybe like 20 minutes collectively. So this should be a treat for all of us. I figure we'll watch the cinematic parts, because somebody put an okay amount of work into this, and it's actually mildly entertaining. Uh, usually I kind of just like dive right in and grind through, and I probably won't read much, but, you know, watching people get stabbed in the face in, in 3D awesomeness is, is okay with me. Now, how long is it, is, is the question. Maybe I should have picked that guy. He's got a cool fire sword. So I recently watched an anime, and this chick had, like, super defined boob armor. Like, the armor that's, like, like, you see how she got the whole, like, you know, the fine breasticle thing? But, like, hers were, like, in the anime, it was, like, super, you know, hey, look at me kind of, kind of stuff. You know, I can't picture that being, like, in real life. I can't picture that being economical in battle. I can't picture that being, like, a, a smart thing to do. I mean, you would think the woman would want, like, sheep wool padding and keep it relatively flat on the outside rather than, you know, two giant metal humps on her chest. But then again, I guess it depends on, you know, which, if, if she's going for the please don't kill me because I'm sexy vibe. Holy crap, we might not even get to the tutorial this episode. Should we skip it? Nah, we're not gonna skip it. I'm in... I'm in no rush. And this is another series that's gonna go, like, you know, anywhere from... 5 episodes to 25 episodes, kind of depending on... You know, how entertaining it is. I heard the dungeon gameplay is pretty incredible. 
but I heard the player base is really lackluster. Um, it's relatively old, as far as I heard. Like, it kind of came out in like 2006 or 2007 or something. So, uh, in some other videos, I'm putting down in the description that I am taking votes for games. If anybody has anything they would like to see me play, it has very little requirements. It's got to be free to play, uh, it's got to be able to run on my computer, and it's got to be relatively entertaining to play with uncut video, because I'm not going to... I don't have editing software, I don't have, like... It's not, it's not that I lack... It's not really that I lack the time, it's more like, what is this? You can... Oh man, what is... I don't know. You're allowed using the W, A, S, and T keys. Sure. Oh no, what did I do? Okay, okay, we're, we're alright. <laughs> so you can... You can look around using the mouse, and as the as the very deep voiced man said, you can move around with the W A S D. Now I don't know who I can actually. Okay, so apparently if I'm going to slay that not so not so healthy looking man. Quest tracker displays current quest objectives. All right, guess we'll just do what you say. Uh, press F. So you can still walk. You were in bad shape when we pulled you from the front line. I don't know how I feel about untested adventurers volunteering their aid in this fight, but my men need all the help they can get. That blasted Dracolich is tearing like through our ranks. For me. Protector's Enclave needs reinforcements. Fight your way to the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. If you see a particularly imposing tiefling, that's Makos. Do what you can to aid him. Before you go, Make sure to arm yourself for the trials ahead. Alright. Like the sound of that. I'm assuming I get something here. Sure, I'll take all of that. Right. Press I to open your inventory. Double click an item to equip it. Press the Alt key to toggle mouse cursor and mouse look modes. Press the Alt key to toggle cursor and mouse look mode? What is that even? I'm not entirely sure what that means, but where do I see my actual equipment that I'm currently wearing? Uh... Okay, so I equipped the gear. That's cool and all. There's a bunch of junk up here. J, control J, Y. Homepage, character status. There we go. The C key brings up character status. Armor's, armor looks kind of sick, not gonna lie, that's kind of kind of cool. Uh, we'll see how we do as far as attacks and stuff go. Um, so can I kill that man now, is, is my question. Can I murder you? Yeah, apparently not. That's unfortunate. You're all by yourself, put you out of your misery. Be careful out there. Like, I have any choice in the matter. I love when people tell me that. Hover your reticle over objects and enemies to target them. Left clicking will use at will power on an enemy. Alright. Well, that wasn't so bad. It looks like it does like an AOE damage of swords. 
if it's within the area, if it's within a reasonable area, you can, uh, guarding, the meter will, well, you're guarding, your guard meter will decrease as you do damage. How does one guard? Uh, shift, shift guards. Thanks for telling me, game. Did I loot these guys, or, or is that coming later? Probably. Press spacebar to jump. All right, so they were gonna kill this patch, and then I think I'm gonna call it. I'll call it an episode here. And I'll probably get through most of the tutorial, and I'll just I'll give you guys the clip notes version afterwards. Uh, because we're already about 30 minutes deep, and I'm a little invested in this now. Kind of like it, but I don't want to make extraordinarily long videos. Um, so 30 minutes is where I'm going to try to have the cutoff. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you guys next time.